In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Say, it has been revealed to me that a company of jinns listened to the Quran. They said, we have really heard a wonderful recital. It gives guidance to the right, and we have believed therein. We shall not join in worship any gods with our Lord. And exalted is the majesty of our Lord. He has taken neither a wife nor a son. There were some foolish ones among us who used to utter extravagant lies against Allah. But we do think that no man or jinn should say aught that untrue against Allah. True, there were persons among mankind who took shelter with persons among the jinns, but they increased them into farther error. And they came to think, as ye thought, that Allah would not raise up any one to judgment. And we pried into the secrets of heaven, but we found it filled with stern guards and flaming fires. We used, indeed, to sit there in hidden stations, to steal a hearing. But any who listen now will find a flaming fire watching him in ambush. And we understand not whether ill is intended to those on earth, or whether their Lord really intends to guide them to right conduct. There are among us some that are righteous, and some that contrary. We follow divergent paths. But we think that we can by no means frustrate Allah throughout the earth, nor can we escape him by flight. And as for us, since we have listened to the guidance, we have accepted it, and any who believes in his Lord has no fear, either of a short account or of any injustice. Amongst us are some that submit their wills to Allah, and some that swerve from justice. Now those who submit their wills, they have sought out the path of right conduct. But those who swerve, they are but fuel for hellfire. And Allah's message is, If they, the pagans, had only remained on the right way, we should certainly have bestowed on them rain in abundance, that we might try them by that means. But if any turns away from the remembrance of his Lord, he will cause him to undergo ever-growing chastisement. And the places of worship are for Allah alone, so invoke not anyone along with Allah. Yet when the devotee of Allah stands forth to invoke him, they just make round him a dense crowd. Say, I do no more than invoke my Lord, and I join not with him any false god. Say, It is not in my power to cause you harm, 
or to bring you to right conduct. Say, No one can deliver me from Allah if I were to disobey Him, nor should I find refuge except in Him. Unless I deliver what I receive from Allah and His messages, for any that disobey Allah and His messenger, for them is hell, they shall dwell therein for ever. At length, when they see with their own eyes that which they are promised, then will they know who it is that is weakest in his helper and least important in point of numbers. Say, I know not whether the punishment which ye are promised is near, or whether my Lord will appoint for it a distant term. He alone knows the unseen, nor does he make any one acquainted with his secrets, except a messenger whom he has chosen, and then he makes a band of watchers march before him and behind him. that he may know that they have truly brought and delivered the messages of their Lord, and he encompasses all that is with them, and takes account of every single thing. <laughs>